do you remember the cutscene I, I reacted to about Arlecchino teaser or whatever what it, that was before Arlecchino was released? There was someone in the House of the Heart back then that looked, looked like this. That, that kid, that pink haired girl that died. Is this like, is this her, her phantom, her phantom without memories or her, I don't know, kid? Did she have a child? Where, where is this story going? And if this is related, how will people who do doesn't know about external sources figure out their story? Now, now it's getting intriguing. The story is, uh, is a little um, tangled up and I like it. Hmm. I don't know much about spirits. Do you two have any ideas? I know how to exercise one. Here. Oh, I, Paimon remembers hearing something like if you fulfill a spirit's last wish before they die, they'll let go of whatever is keeping them here and return to the ley line. Is that a Hutao oh, preference? Paimon doesn't really remember where she heard that, so, so it's not guaranteed to work or anything. Well, sounds like it's worth a shot. Guess that means we should go ask her about her wish. But first, Fremini. I need you to promise me something. What is it? I need you to promise me that this will stay between the two of us. We're the masterminds behind this whole thing. No one else gets involved. Can you do that for me? Of course. I promise. All right. Then let's seal the promise just like when we were kids. Fist bump on three. Ready? One, two, three. That's the brotherly love we 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 know. Wait, where did you come from? <laughs> the effects are on point. Whoa, Lynette! Where did you come what, spawn? What a surprise! <clears throat> what brings you here, dear sister? <laughs> now she's mad. And uh. When exactly did you get here? The animations are on point. You're an idiot, brother. <laughs> um, Buck on each other. And you too, Fremine. Uh, you three, Traveler. And you four, Paimon. <laughs> Long time no see. What did we do? We're spectators here. I've seen Clairvy around the House of the Hearth before. I hadn't seen her in Poisson, so I figured she must not have come with us. But it turns out, you were just hiding her. I heard you talking about your plan. Rather than steering clear of the situation, I'd rather fully join in. Well, she's your sister, Lini. <laughs> you handle this. Agree. I'll have no choice but to report everything back to Father. Simple as that. Yep. She's a sister, all right. Not giving us much wiggle room here, Lynette. I've heard those words before. Well, I guess we're all in this together then. After we talk to Claire V, we'll figure out our next move. There's no time to lose. Let's go. Okay. What are we doing now? Just find out what this woman is all about. Woman. She's hardly a woman. <sighs> I'm full. Thank you for bringing you me can the spirit, eat? you guys. Aren't you um, a spirit? She said she's full, but the food oh. doesn't look like it's even been touched. Okay, so I wasn't tripping. That's right. I wasn't high. You know. Based on what I've been able to observe, it doesn't seem like Clairvy can interact with the physical world at all. Still, when she's presented with food, she'll always linger around it for a good little while. Maybe, in her mind, she really is eating those things. That's creepy. Does she know that she has already passed away? That's creepier. I tried to ask her, but she didn't answer. My guess is that she's just as confused as we are. Or, maybe she couldn't understand the question at all. Clairvy, if you've got some time, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Oh, another new friend. Hi, I'm Clairvy. Hello. 
Claire V, how did you join the House of the Hearth? Huh? Isn't it the same for everybody? The knave brings you here and then you can't leave. That doesn't it's sound just right. That your name, it's not on the roster. And I've never seen you before. The roster? Oh, I get it now. I think there might be some things you don't know about this place. The people in charge, they're not as nice as they look. They say they keep a roster, but it's not complete. There are a lot of people who aren't on it, and never will be. I feel like she's from the last House of Hearth, when, when the mother was in charge, before Arlequino was, uh, was a harbinger. You know, from that, uh, from that trailer. I think that it's related to that uh, short animation we got, because this feels like it's related. In this house, some people are family, and other people are just test subjects. Those kinds of people aren't ever going to get a place on the roster. Unless it's the roster of people who've been executed. This feels like the last house of heart, because I know the last house of heart, the mother, had the, uh, what do you call it, um, tied with the doctor, and sending the, she was sending people for experiments. So I feel like she's literally from the last house of heart before Arlequino was in charge. So I guess that's it. I, I'm literally figuring this out. If this is true, I'm figuring this out before. Uh, I'm figuring this out before everything is explained. Wait, does does that mean the name? She. But I don't know. Is there anyone that can vouch? The traveler for doesn't know about the trailer, so doesn't know about her past. So yeah. Probably that's that's where we're getting. Maybe Arlequino yeah. finds out she gets She's mad. My best friend. <laughs> Things like that. She's the only one I trust in this place. Barry? Have either of you heard of that name before? No. Me neither. Claire V. Perry. Neither of those names are on the roster. What's a roster? But it seems like she's telling the truth. How do you know that, that? This kid's already got a bag of tricks bigger than mine. Hmm. Maybe we should try. A full of jokes, Lini. Clairvy, do you have a wish? A wish? It can be anything you want. Just imagine. It's your birthday, you're blowing out the candles, and your wish is. I'm scared. To, to go outside where the sun can find me. Okay, so she's just a that's spirit stuck here. It? Well, that sounds easy enough. No, it doesn't. The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. Now I'm confused. What did she mean by that? Things can't be this simple. Okay, time to divide and conquer. Listen up, I've got a plan. I'll try and find a way to use basic illusory magic to take Claire V outside and bring her somewhere with sunlight. Okay. Net, try and find the list of executions that Claire V was talking about and see if her name is on it. Fremenet, you stay in Poisson. We can't be the only ones who've had run-ins with Claire V. I need you to collect intel on everything she's said and done. Understood. I'll try my best. What about us? What should we do? I really appreciate your willingness to help, but this is a family matter. I don't want to drag you in too deep. It's too risky. It's not like I have I anything think. else to do. Since father <sighs> considers you to be guests, maybe you could stick by her side for a little Okay, while. I'll take that. You don't need to do anything except keep up some nice casual conversation. I mean, this is an Arlequino quest, and f I, I just saw Arlequino for like five minutes total. So I guess I'll, I'll do that. Oh, I'm a good distraction. You want us to distract you. Yep. How should we contact you? I'll give you? you a magic bird. If a what? If suspect something, all you need to do is release it when she's not looking, and it'll alert me that something's wrong. 
Of course, that's only as a last resort. If father doesn't seem to notice us, there's no need to make contact. Okay. We'll reconvene here tonight after all said and done. She will find out, if don't worry. If the worst case scenario happens and we're discovered, just tell father everything. We're not going to let our guests get punished for our own actions. That's where we draw the line. I'm pretty sure Arlequino knows about her. There's no way she doesn't know. Since Lynette knew about her before anything else. She saw her in the House of Heart before. So there's a 100% chance that uh, Arlequino is just playing with them. But sure, I'll play my role. You too. Okay, this is where we part. Father should be at the beach nearby. She's at the what? We're going uh, beach party with Arlequino. I really hope this goes well. Arlequino beach skin confirmed. No, it has to go well. That's the only way this can get resolved. Okay. So we're going. Where exactly? Seaside to look for the nave. I don't know why. Why aren't we call? Why aren't we calling her Arlequino? And we're calling her the nave. I don't even know what the nave means. There you is that Tartalia? Hey yo, my brother! It's the nave and child! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, aren't you supposed to be in Snezhnaya recuperating? What are you still doing in Fontaine? Oh yeah, forgot about that. Oh, it's you two. I didn't expect to run into you here. <laughs> are you alright? I was unconscious for quite a while after the fight in the primordial sea. After I woke up. I realized I was being taken back to Snezhnaya, and well, I couldn't have that now, could I? Not when I've still got unfinished business here in Fontaine. So, I mustered up all my strength and made the journey back on my own. Okay. What sort of unfinished business are we talking here? It has to do with Skirk. Oh, yeah. Master. I really wanted to meet up with her, but by the time I got back, she had already left. I still have so many questions for her. Without any other leads... All I could do was ask the knave to help me track her down. She must have left behind some traces from her time in Fontaine. Oh, okay. So, have you found any clues? Unfortunately, no. While the House of the Hearth is adept at collecting all manner of intelligence, certain existences can still manage to escape our purview. Okay. Basically, unless Master feels there's a need to meet with me, she's not going to be found. But that problem has an easy fix. I just need to become stronger, and then. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong, but uh, don't push yourself too hard. Getting better first. Yeah, she's right. <laughs> the worst of it is over. It's all thanks to that one kid from the House of the Hearth, Elwar. I think her name was. Okay. She gave me a bunch of random potions to drink. <laughs> they didn't go down easy. Let me tell you, pain and chills all over. <laughs> Just but random really potions. Speed up my recovery, and that's good because it looks like I really do have to head back this time. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Old man, you mean the project Stuja? Uh, yeah, that's what the is one. all of this. Uh, I heard Regrader's involved too. What are I'm these? All, all of these? To to all oh, hold on a moment. For sure. Hey, maybe you could think of a way for me to stay in Fontaine for a little longer. What are these? Lord dumps on us. I, I love when these guys are, in, are involved. We just talked about Skirk. We just talked about something called Project... I, I forgot the name. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Maybe I remember it. There's this regregator. And when he said old man, is, she, is he referring to the number one? The, 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 the That guy? Because... I don't know, I, I just love when these guys are involved. And right now we're doing a story quest, not an Archon quest. So I don't even know if these are canon. This, like, this feels, like, feels like our canon. So let's see what, what, what these could, uh, could, uh, could Helping be. Helping and the others brush up on their fighting skills would be far more interesting. If you and I could spar, that would be even better. <laughs> oh, the I've horse is child. To see you go all out. Chill out, bro. <laughs> oh. And what a sweet little daydream that is. <laughs> but I also have a role to play in all this. I'll be leaving Fontaine shortly as well. Besides, considering how little they see fit to step outside the homeland, being called on to return to Snezhnaya by such illustrious dignitaries. What a great honor. 
Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> She's lovely. One I could do without, I'd say. Okay. Uh, is it just Paimon? Or does it kind of seem like they're... Just casually trash talking their colleagues behind their backs. I mean, yeah, that's a good family. So, dear guests of the House of the Hearth, to what do I owe the visit? I mean, um, we're here to see the well, main... We just... Um, wanted to learn more about you. Paimon, I think you should shut up because you're worse at lying than Fremine. Right! We're super close to Linny and the others, but we still don't know much about you! Stop talking! Is that so? Introductions have already been made, have they not? Oh, uh, well, you see? There's only so much you can learn about someone <laughs> from a short introduction. At least tell us something a little extra, like... Why do you <sighs> like your father? I, think, I feel like three more sentences and uh, Arekino will suspect something is wrong because the way Paimon is talking is like... This woman is not an idiot, so she will figure out before we even try to say something. Uh, good question. I forgot you were here. I'd also like to know. Oh, okay. The fact that you have to ask tells me our intelligence work has been quite successful. Telling you the answer to that question would only serve to undermine that success. And we can't have that, now can we? Spoken like a true diplomat. That was some expert sidestepping right there. Hmm. Well... If there's nothing else, I think I'll take my leave. I still have a small matter to resolve at home. <laughs> Can I come to Tujneshnaya? <laughs> okay, that's even more. If the name leaves right now, she's sure to run into Linny and Clervy. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Should I release the bird and gave us? No, we should try to tell. To get her talking about something else, about the house. What does this organization mean to you? <laughs> I'd also like to hear the answer to this. Okay, Child is helping here, but I don't think he realizes. I've met some of the members of your organization, and they all seemed like really good kids. They actually reminded me of Tonya and Tusser. Which, by the way, if you ever betray them, I'm just letting you know, I won't let you off easy. <laughs> okay, Child. And why would I betray them? Well, you've already betrayed the House of the Hearth once, haven't you? Oh. At least, that's what I heard. Oh, someone's about to get slapped. <laughs> okay, okay, I admit. That's just what the old man told me. The rooster, I mean. Oh, so, wait. The rooster is, uh... Who's the rooster? That old banker man? So may maybe the old man, he was talking about the old man, the banker. The Navy treat the house of heart, so does that mean what Clearview said was true? Does the Navy really treat her children like the test like this subject? Wait, did you really do something bad to those kids? Never mind what I've done. I'm more curious as to what the mighty rooster had to say. <laughs> Care to enlighten me? <laughs> the rooster uh, is about well, to get left. Just some stuff about you taking out many other members of the house of the hearth, and even going so far to attack your own family. Hmm. I see. Oh, based on your reaction, I'm guessing it's all a bunch of lies. Hardly. I don't appreciate his particular turns of phrase, but I suppose he didn't say anything untrue. I mean, if a mother beats her children, then it's not called... It's scolding. It's not called... I don't know, taking out. <laughs> I mean, depends on what he, what she do, what she's done. Although, it would She's be more done. accurate to say that there is a certain level of prejudice involved. But, I don't intend to clear that up just yet. Prejudice has a funny way of concealing the real truth behind certain things. An attribute that I find to be quite advantageous. Call yourself a Fontanian, for example, and people will assume all sorts of things. When the real truth is that this is simply the land where I was raised. She's not what? wrong. You're not actually from Fontaine? But then why did you try to help out with the prophecy and everything? I was trying to protect the children born in Fontaine. Claiming that I myself was a Fontanian simply made it easier to operate. People would hardly suspect a fellow Fontanian of having any ulterior motives. Who wouldn't want to save their homeland after all? The Primordial Sea wouldn't have any effect on me, but it would have caused great harm to the House of the Hearth. 
I mean, she's well, right. You wanted extra information, didn't you? There you go. I hope that satisfied your curiosity. Okay. So much for learning anything else about her betrayal. She only, she only, only revealed that other secret in order to change the subject. It seems like she's trying to avoid talking about her past. I mean, yeah, she's pretty good at, at avoiding questions. So, you stayed in Fontaine for the kids. I guess I was wrong to believe you'd betray them. Apologies. Looks like I was holding on to some prejudices myself. Good. Like I said, I like it when others have misconceptions of me. Okay. Actually, <laughs> that's while creepy. I was recuperating at the house of the hearth, there was something else that really caught me. I attention. feel like this is it. I heard that members always resolve disputes oh. and arguments with a friendly spar. Bro. <laughs> and the loser has to back down. Seems pretty cool if you ask me. Would also give them plenty of opportunities to hone their skills. Goku, chill out. Well, that's only a recent development. In the past, such spars weren't nearly so friendly. The losing party would lose everything, including their life. Yep. They were that high stakes? Whew, at least that's not a thing anymore. Where well, did I the hear that? The atmosphere's not half bad. I'm a bit jealous, actually. You've got so many family members around you, and you even get to live with them. Having mm. a lot of family around means dealing with a considerable amount of bickering and scheming. Once Tonya and Tusser enter their rebellious phase, I'm sure you'll understand. <laughs> okay. Just imagine. Tusser becomes obsessed with plucking out strands from the rooster's mustache. <laughs> or Tonya decides to dye her hair 42 different colors. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, okay. I get the picture. <laughs> As the conversation shifts to the topic of the internet, the child begins to share story. It's the time of conversation, but you find grateful to chat for buying him more time. Uh, yep. Well, would you look at the child time? is help is helping and he doesn't even Traveler, know wo how. I'm not sure where our paths will cross next, Oops. but the next time we run into each other, we should definitely try and find some time to spar. <coughs> I guess um, see you in Shinesh Naya, maybe? Maybe this is a conversation we can have when you look less like you're gonna kill over. Yep. All right, all right. Well, thanks for everything, Arlecchino. Arlecchino? We, no, thanks we never heard that name you in the game. You also played a part in obtaining the Gnosis. I would say we can call ourselves even. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Well, I'm off. See you all some other time. Um, we should probably get going too. Do you want to head back with us? Oh, you want me to leave so soon? Mm. Oh, I... Why won't you shut up? <laughs> You're not helping. I'm rather enjoying the evening breeze. If you don't mind, I think I'll stick around for a bit. I have some things to think about. Okay. Apologies for not attending to you like a proper host. Please forgive this slight. I do hope you'll have a pleasant stay. Okay. <sighs> We managed to keep her distracted until nightfall. Good thing Child was there to keep the conversation going. Yep. You Child, we owe you one. Suspected anything, do you? Oh, I wonder if Liddy ran into any issues. Let's hurry back and see how everything went. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't play with Arlecchino here. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do actually a team change. And uh, play with Arlecchino after I'm done with her story quest. Just so I... Uh, I earn her trust because I feel like these story quests are for that thing only. So I guess uh, I guess it's New Villet from now on until we, we finish this quest. I said New Villet, but I actually like to play with Layla more. So yeah. We're doing Elf Girl now. Lenny, how did everything go? Well, long story short, we ran into a small issue. Claire V can't go into the sunlight. Why? Does she burn out? Everything was fine at first. She followed me up to the surface just like I told her. But as I let her out of the shadows and into the sunlight, she vanished. Okay. I turned around and there she was, standing at the edge of the shadows, silently watching me. Is that trauma? Uh, maybe she's afraid of sunlight, or... Uh -oh. No, it wouldn't be her wish if that were the case. Hmm. 
Well, we could always try pushing her into it. Not sure pushing works on a non-corporeal being. Oh, true. <sighs> so she's indeed a spirit. Already. Nothing worked. Eventually the sun went down, so all I could do was bring her back here. <sighs> How did it go with you, Lynette? Good. I've got the list. It's right here. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look! Oh, that's a lot of pages. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get through it all. We can each take a section. Here. Okay. La Pouillade, Landois, Jean-Bel, Aurel. Um, what are we? Oh, we're looking at an execution list. Okay. 